Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhengjiang campaign. We pick things up for episode 2 from turn 8 in the winter season of 195. So as we hop back into game, uh, we were left off with some new characters joining us, Liu Chong and Luo Jun, as Yuan Shu has destroyed their faction quite early on in this campaign. And this gives us a few choices to make, and uh, I debated about it, and I think we're gonna stay. And here's the storyline. So, we are the Bandit Queen. We disbanded our group after getting chased out of the Black Mountains because Yuan Shao retaliated against Zhang Yan's expansion. Escaped down south, invaded another bandit territory in Zhangba, and we stole the Confucian Temple from him, uh, made it our fortress, uh, temple fortress, right, hidden fortress here, and that's our base of operation. Then to our south, uh, we entered into a mercenary contract with Liu Bei, where we are helping them wipe out the bandit that we are also fighting at the same time to have a good neighbor. And we also traded with a new southern neighbor in Liu Chong, who just got wiped out, and we took them in. And our policy is that if a non-bandit faction character joins us, we have to offer them a wife or a family member, maybe a husband if it's a female character, so that we always have a bandit in uh, the family. That's how they can join our bandit family. So Liu Chong here is obviously very unsatisfied because he's very high level, so we're going to have to make him quite an important character in our court. This means Shi Huan is going to get fired. Uh, he's 58. He might get divorced and fired at the same time um, because we might want to use her as a wife for Luo Jun or Liu Chong to save us some money because arranging a marriage for them will cost us 4000 a bit pricey. So we're going to have to uh, let her help us out a little bit uh, by saying goodbye to her other husband here. Uh, when we're richer, we might do more arranged marriages. So we were debating whether we want to stay put, fight in the Central Plains, or go south. Well, our choices uh, logically will be between these. Maybe we fell in love with Luo Jun, whose hometown is in Kuaiji. He's from Kuaiji. When he was actually assassinated first by Zhang Kai uh, during 197, he had a son already uh, named Luo Tong, who eventually made his way back to their ancestral home. And when Sun Quan was emperor, Luo Tong actually worked for Sun Quan and was a very capable administrator under him, just like how his father was a, a very capable administrator under uh, Liu Chong. Well, technically not administrator, he was a chancellor for Liu Chong's princedom. Or we can have Zheng Jiang fall in love with Liu Chong, the imperial bloodline, and thus gives our future kid, if we should have one, legitimacy to reclaim the crown, to be able to become queen of all of China, because then we would have legitimacy through Liu Chong. And staying with him, or marrying him, would mean that we agree to help him avenge the destruction of his faction and destroy Yuan Shu. So I think this is the storyline that we're going to pursue. We're going to fall in love with Liu Chong and marry him and defend this territory that we have and try to reclaim his land. So we're not going to leave. That would be the route of marrying Luo Jun. Instead, we'll give Luo Jun to her and uh, we'll work from there. So let's get some of these marriages out of the way. We first have to divorce her uh, from her current husband of just one year. She could very well be pregnant, for all we know. Um, the game has pregnancy in a few seasons before you actually give birth to a child. So we'll see what happens with that. She will divorce her husband. We will very nicely say goodbye to him. I can't afford to lose satisfaction at this point. Um, so. She is going to marry a uh, regular marriage with Luo Jun. Oh, they don't like each other. Just testing it out. Oh, he is married. And his wife went to Gong Sun Zan. Well, you're going to have to spend some money and divorce as well. What a good fit.
they're gonna have to make do. Maybe secretly Luo Jin still loves us, and uh, after Liu Chong dies of old age, something might happen there. But right now, to follow our rule, we can do this. And he's now extra. He was next in line, now he's just gonna leave. And of course, Liu Chong is gonna be next in line. Uh, he's gonna grant a lot of satisfaction based on his very high authority, but not a lot of faction-wide bonuses for us. We can get some starting rank for range units, which is the best thing she, he, he can offer at this point. Now Luo Jun, on the other hand, only need this position to stay happy, because he's also very high ranked. We could also try to capture Dong and then make him a uh, administrator, but even then, we probably want to shift him into that position. So right now he's going to just have to slot in here for a little bit just to get the satisfaction up. Because we don't want this debuff, which happens when you have unhappy character. Alright, so our story is straight um, and we're going to set up an army to go attack them. It's probably not going to include our girl here. Because they each bring a lot to the table, not only with their retinues, which is just amazing. We get Chen Royal Guard and Chen Peacekeeper. Luo Jun has nothing, and he probably will stick with having nothing. Hmm. We might not use him on the battlefield. We might just stick to her. And we will recruit Liu Chong once we get enough money. So it's probably going to be two turns, unless we can reduce the cost, which we can't anytime soon. Maybe when he levels up, but that's going to take forever too. So yeah, we just got to wait for that money to flow in. We can't do any assignments. We're going to boost income. Yeah, good effort. Uh, we can also do this. But the problem here is character salary flies up. So for Bandit, sometime it's better to drop. In this case, it is actually better to drop. It depends on how much uh, retinue upkeep you have. In our case, we don't have any, we just have general upkeep. So by dropping it and increasing character salary um, and also satisfaction, or dropping character salary, we're actually going to make more money. So we're going to drop this. It's very weird for the Bandits. Yeah, we can't do much else. We're gonna have to fight before our contract dies out. Now I know the contract is bugged out. We don't get the items from the missions. Uh, usually, I think around every five turns, you get an event where you get some items. But we still get paid for 20 turns, so it's not terrible. Um, and that's probably all we can do. We are extremely poor. There's not much for us to do at this point, so let us continue. Yuan Shao want us to join their coalition. But we have to pay them pretty much everything. No. Huang Fu Song died. That's a rather early death. All right, we got uh, we got friendship between Liu Chong and Luo Jun. That's very lovely. We got ourselves our reforms done. Uh, we picked up a very nice one, Sanctuary of Prince of Chen. It's kind of you know serendipity that we have the Prince of Chen here with us. And that we got this first. We can get diplomatic relations with all faction. That sounds pretty exciting, actually. And it's only four turns, although the other bonuses doesn't really apply to us. I think satisfaction is not going to be an issue for us because Liu Chong is basically a concubine. Ten points of satisfaction from his authority, and I think he's charisma, so he gets five extra points. So technically, you know, he's our He's our uh, concubine here. Anyhow, um, as we were saying, which one do we want? We wouldn't need the extra army because that doesn't really help us at this point. This one's tempting. 
character experience, corruption reduction, satisfaction. Doesn't lead us to anything good though. 20% upkeep discount for range unit. I feel like this is our winner here. Alright. We need some vision? Okay. So, not a big army. We will have enough money next turn to summon Liotong, which will give us, you know, a strong enough force to take this down, believe it or not. We will be raiding here to get a lot of our loot back. Uh, if she wants to attack us with this army, we can handle it. There is nothing for us to do. All these cost money, they're only spying assignments. And I doubt there's any new turncoats because we don't really neighbor anyone at this point. We're good. Let's continue. Benshu wants military access. No, you're going to be our target. He doesn't know that we took in Liuchong yet, but we will let him know very soon. Nian Bai Hu declare war on Sun Ce. Liberate Sun Ce. Good, because we don't want to declare war on him before uh, Sun Ce is still with him. The Emperor has escaped. She recruited a couple new units. Now this crossbowman, the problem with getting rid of it is we can't replace it. Once we get rid of it, it's going to be gone for good. As in we can't recruit it back. There is going to be crossbowmen on a reform tree though. So technically, it will count against our limit. So it's not like I'm getting an extra unit. I'm pretty sure I remember there was crossbowmen. I double check. There's a heavy crossbowman. There's no regular crossbowman. If there's no regular crossbowman, then that's a repeating. Then maybe I keep it just because I'm never going to be able to replace it. Maybe it is only heavy crossbowmen. I guess we scored an extra unit. Alright, it's only repeating and heavy. This is a heavy one. Too heavy. These are all Nama units. These are mostly cavalry. Okay, I guess we keep it. Now, see, now, once we have a retinue, the tax is going to be different. We make more when we boost it higher. Uh, we can't afford the satisfaction hit, so we're going to just drop it to here. And we're going to give him one more unit, a very crucial unit, a hidden axe. Because then we can sneak up to the towers and grab them. So one is enough. He serves a very key purpose here. And we'll let them muster up six turns. That is quite a long time. I don't have flexibility. He doesn't have flexibility. No one has flexibility, so we can't speed that up. Okay, all right, then that's just the way it is. Um, we won't let them heal all the way up, but at least a decent amount. This is too low. We can strike them in one turn, so we have time and we have vision. So we probably want to ambush. High loot means low movement, but I think max loot gives some replenishment, I believe. We'll see. We'll see what happens next turn. Let's continue. Non-aggression? Nope. Alright, we can't wait anymore because Zhang Fei's army is here. Which means... He, if he sieges it, then we're doomed. 25 movement. Can I still reach it? Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Very bad. Okay, 
he might attack us, which would be good. I mean, in this case, even if he takes it, if we're in the fight, I think we get some points. And if he gets wiped, uh, the contract is automatically void, so that's fine too. At this point, can we get something from you? No. Yeah, our loot calculation was definitely off. We should have burned loot. We're not getting replenishment for this. Okay, we'll know this in the future. We should probably shave off some loot right now in this turn. Okay. I mean, at least we'll be in reinforcement range. We'll get part of the fight. And he might just attack us, which is also interesting. Battle initiation disabled, but doesn't say we'll be tired or anything. Right, we'll be fine. It'll be the same type of fight that we would have had. Let's see how this turns out. Baltal wants a non-aggression pack. Wants our spear. Nope. Alright, so Zhang Fei didn't reach, and their army did come out to fight us, which is actually excellent, um, as we have Liu Chong. Show of force is absolutely nuts. Um, this way they don't have the towers, but they will chase us around rather than sit still inside. So there's a little trade-off here, but I will still be fight. I'll you know I'll fight this one. I think we have a great shot here to do some real damage. Alrighty, we got a foggy day, which is great. So obviously this would not be a straight-up fight. You know that's not how this will turn out <laughs> well for us. Uh, we're gonna hide most of our units in the back here. We have three generals with three distinct skills. We have a general with Poison Volley, only 4 uses, it's great for damaging massive amount of enemy units that's in a you know huddle. We have Liu Chong, with great single target show of force, unlimited use, and it demoralizes enemy units by 15 points when hit. So this is not only great for killing enemy generals, but also great for wiping out enemy units, because you just hit them, they drop 15 morale, you swarm them. If we have some sort of scare, which I don't think we have right now, but maybe Liu Zhong has scare. So we have scare on top of that to debuff their morale. And uh, he's resistant to fatigue. We are uh, immune to fatigue, so we never tire. She needs stock. Once she has stock, I think she'll be perfect. But pretty much we have three very powerful generals and we do intend to use them. So. And plus, we're on defense, so we only have to survive for 40 minutes. And then whatever amount of men that survives the battle will get sieged by us next turn since Zhang Fei didn't make it. You guys can go slow just to uh, save some strength. Don't get tired. Not the case for her, but there's no rush. We need them to come out of the forest. None of the range ability works well in the forest. So since we are all hidden, they will scout us. They should send out the cavalry alone, and uh, that should be a good thing for us. Look at that group of archers that will never fire on our general. She only has 27 morale, so when this hits her, not only will it take away about half of her health, like 40% of her health, but also drop 15 points of her morale. So she will also drop morale from losing health, pretty much knocks her out. So we're going to line ourselves up for that. You can go off over here. She needs to hide. She needs to come in from the side. Fire like a cross. So if you imagine the line right here. She comes out to the side, fires across. Everyone gets poisoned. She needs her poison blade. Uh, to throw her little dagger around and then we'll be really complete with what we can do. So she's hidden, we're all hidden. They saw her last so they're going towards her. Hey, look at me, I'm here, I'm here. I exist. This is my new wife, she's very young, don't judge. He does have a slow horse, but I think he has the mobility skill, which is why he's rather fast. Patience, 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 patience. 
Do they see her? It feels like they see her, but they don't. See, see how they're standing? Alright, we're gonna shoot this first, because this thing is threatening. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, uh, we weren't able to. But they should route with both of them hitting. Come out. Oh, they hit. Good, good, good. This should be good. If they don't charge me in time. Back off, back off, back off. Lay it out. Lay it out. Alright. Poison volley across the... Come on. There we go. Look at that. Everyone get poisoned. Back into the forest. Wait for cooldown. She took the charge, so she's lost a little bit of health, but it's fine. And we'll let them spend 30 seconds in the poison. As you can see, the damage is coming through. Now, if we want them to route faster, we can probably throw him in, because that would be the scare. But they have no chance. Don't need to chase too far. You have much better use over here. Oh, a couple more seconds until she died. Look how many died to the poison. Look. Not from the actual arrows, just from the poison afterward. Stop moving. Test see how accurate I can get this. Predict the movement, predict the movement. There we go. Oh, it's four volleys just like- I forgot about that. It's 3.8 per volley. Wow. Now we're coming back. Oh right, we don't want anyone to escape because they're going to be guarding the garrison right after. Hi, I'm back. I'm back. And I don't like this cluster. We can do better. Guess this will be the group. Hard to get all of them together. They think we have two separate groups, so they're kind of splitting. If we let them group up again, it'd be better. We have some patience here. Okay, they're kind of grouping, but they're going to the forest. I think I have a shot here, right across the trees. Preferably not into the trees, but I don't know if I can get them out. He finished chasing. They ran away. Make yourself useful. No rush. Now it's not even about how we kill them, it's how we make sure they don't escape. Right. He will route this one. They're slow. No, they're gonna run away. Oh well. I guess the militia will be a good target because they can actually knock us off our horse in the next fight or else they're all pretty useless. Oh, 
枪。依我看，你已取得了进步。Alright, seven. That's wiped. Twenty-two. That's still a little bit too much. Let's kill a couple more. Alright, gotta pull them away. We can false charge to make them stop charging us, and then pull, then false charge. Fire! Oh, come on! You are not in melee. Have to cancel it, I guess. Hmm. Guess we'll let them go. All right, we're gonna wrap things up here. Hmm. We're gonna wait because there's still an archer here. Oh, Liu Shong actually took damage. We weren't paying attention. He was actually fighting those uh, spear units. I mean, we could just waste it, just because there's not many enemies left. Alright, we did it! Let's chase them till the end here. Everyone get one, and then we'll take don't without much trouble here. Don't let them go. Ah, oh, they got away. Heroic victory, not bad. All right, our premium generals definitely took them to town. Fame and fortune secure, we should be fine. We don't even need to take the city if we don't want, but we probably do want to take it, just so that we can have put up an administrator. Uh, we definitely don't need loot, but I want some heals. I'm actually curious what happens to these like units who didn't get injured, but they need more mustering anyways. So what happens if I take replenishment like 12, 42, 42, 42? Let's see what happens. And... They do gain a little bit of units. Okay, so they they can use that as sort of a muster up. Emperor finds a protector. Cao Cao has taken the High Empire. She has leveled up. And what we need is definitely that for sure, and then she can get stock afterward. I think that's probably what we want, even though the range damage obviously would help too. Yeah, we'll get this. Okay. We will have to siege a turn because we have no siege weapons. 
Uh, we'll just build one of these things. Or maybe build one of these, and then we can get on the wall. It'd be pretty cool too. Uh, continue siege. Jungle Fleet is probably going to help us enforce this battle. And then we'll just take it. Uh, we'll probably keep it for ourselves. There's no item reward, therefore we don't need this high. We just need this to maintain itself. Or the really cool thing we can probably do is um, loot, uh, just raid, uh, not, not raids. The one where we take the level down, but we don't take it. And that way we keep this relationship going by sieging over and over again. That could be a strategy we could use. But we would want a settlement. We might even want it and then trade it with Liu Bei for the iron mine to finish our mission. The reward is nothing special, but it would give us the next mission. So that's an option. All right, so we're unlocking some titles. Um, we have this one, but we don't need that one. We just unlocked Lord of Thunder. Enable Scare. Well, he already has Scare. 400 salary is not what we want to pay. We don't want to pay the 400 salary. His retinue currently costs a thousand. Okay, so if we get a discount of five percent, it's not worth it. Because that's the entire army's upkeep. We had to pay him a hundred. You save fifty. All right, so we won't be doing that, and we can't do much. We're just gonna get this siege going and see Zhang Fei help us or not. If not, we can just take it, you know, next turn. Woman. Liu Bu wants a non-aggression pack. Nope. I don't know how he's not dead. All right, Zhang Fei didn't come, but they are marching out to fight us. Which, if their other army couldn't beat us, this army can't beat us. We can even delegate, but we're not because we want no casualties. We might even want some. You know, recruitment to boost our mustering rate. So let's go. All right, beautiful autumn day. We have some wooden stake now, which we don't need. Um, we don't need any of them as well. We do need neutral, but the units can rest up. And uh, same map, right? Same location that we were in. So they're hiding in the same corner. You're gonna have to come here. We have good deployments. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna stick together. Come back to this uh, valley here where units get murdered. Uh, poor cavalry. He's still the only one. We could have put some wooden stake down, but more likely to hurt our own horses than theirs. So, as their cavalry charge up, we can probably just snipe him with our famous crossbow, our patented Liu Chong. Prince Liu Chong's crossbow. Gotta know the title as well. And we just wait. Fire! You. Okay, we don't have time for that. Just to distract them, so buy her all the time. Don't 
I want to kill her, obviously. Alright, doesn't mind using out someone else first. Charge! Actually, she should go kill those. She has a more important task here. Uh, why do we have to go so close? Just use them to build some speed. Alright. We'll wait till they get over here. One guy is fine. That unit's pretty much routed. Activate them again. When the general pops out. Disappears again. She's moving, she's moving. Nope, she's dead. Okay, only three. That's too many. I think they're all routed. Alright. Obviously, we want to chase, because if we can kill everyone, then we don't have to fight the siege. But I think it's going to be too late. Like, that one's going to get away. They still have a few units left. It's a little annoying, but it's fine. We'll take more replenishment. Where did Zhang Fei's army go? And why is Shamoko declaring war on Zhang Yang? Yes. Good for him. Now we can hit him. Alright, reform. So the reason why we came here is because we want this one, the upkeep for range unit discount, which will help us quite a bit. Now, if we end him, we end the contract, which I think is okay. We'll find a new contract. Uh, we won't be delegating, we'll actually be fighting... Oh my god. Yeah, I, I mean, we need to fight or else these units will just die. Like, we've already seen how the AI delegates these things. They get your cavalry, they dismount them, climb the wall, it's rather dumb. So I'll fight this one. Wow, it's snowy! Okay, I don't even know if we actually need to fight this one, or the second we show up, their morale just tanks. Because that is entirely possible, in my opinion. Um, if we want to siege, it's gonna be this side 
and uh, I would not use the invisible unit to push a very visible structure. Like the invisible unit can be anywhere else uh, just to advance onto the enemy territory and climb a wall and get in without you know disturbing anyone so like they could be oh that tower is even broken from the sieging for the turn we did so put them over there over here i mean you know what we're gonna set a great example and push this thing from here with the force and that should scare the enemy into submission and also ensure that there's no way we get shot by any of the towers because look at where we are like how will they shoot us Right, towers protected by ox leather or whatever leather they're using here. And uh, impeding doom is coming. Uh, they do have units waiting in the plaza. I guess they're not giving up. They are firing, but as I said, like it's gonna hit the blocks, but like it's not gonna do anything to us. Hey, hit the roof. There we go. Someone had the foresight of putting the leather over here as well. Now, to be fair, this type of siege tower was not historically accurate for this period. Uh, what they did have is siege uh, platforms like this in the base with a ladder that would flip up into the wall. Uh, no tower structure, but a very uh, mobile ladder uh, that would kind of uh, be folded down and it would like snap up into the wall. Uh, it's called Yunti or the Cloud Ladder. Uh, they didn't make that, they made this thing. It's fine. This has more of a medieval flair to it. Yeah, we're just super safe in here. I don't know why we sent Zheng Jiang, I mean she's the leader, but like we probably should have sent someone with a ability that can wipe out the unit inside. Oh. Yep, we're here! Alright, let's go in. Now we could capture all the gates for the units outside, but it's not the goal here. We're gonna solo those gentlemen over there. Now these civilians might actually get in our way. There's a chance. I'm gonna just turn on. We're gonna jog in three times speed. Oh, he didn't attack us. I know they they are aggressive. They will they will fight us if they bump into us. But I guess they're scared of us. See, they fought us, but we got injured. Don't be panting, you're fatigue immune. Fatigue immune. Alright, we'll turn off all the interfaces. We don't even need to use our abilities. Let's go! My commandery. My. Alright, we need to turn the interface back on because we need the victory panel show up. Oh, they didn't surrender. They just pulled back a little. I thought they routed. Oh, poor guy.
We really want to kill him, but we're having trouble. Okay, let's see. Just go for the crowd. Ooh. Okay, when the execution moves start coming out. Alright. There we go. We need to see that victory screen. We won, we won. Chill. Alrighty. So I think at the end of the day here, we take it. We need some income. We need a place to call home. We need an underling location. Um, do we want to reduce it? Probably not. Uh, I think level 5 is a city, which is a great level for us. It has a harbor, so that will provide a little bit of food. So let's just occupy. Dongbai is destroyed. Contract is complete. Um, it will not take down anymore, but we still get paid for the last 8 turns. Let's see. He has put some bandits unit uh, buildings in here, but some useless ones here. Why build this? So I'd rather demolish this. Private workshop, that's a good choice. We'll repair that. Uh, bandit hideout for uh, bandit income, not a bad choice either. And then harbor for food. Right now, let's see, right now it's, it's negative food right now. It's a city, negative four food. I don't think messing with tax rate does anything for food for bandits. Um, we could use our character to uh, increase food production by sharing the spoils, which is what we will do here. Um, which way do I want my army to face? This way. This does lose 200 uh, food from banditry, except for we don't have any food from banditry because we don't have a um, county that provides that. But we do get more income this way. And we need to get rid of that loot, so this is a good move for us. This would give us food. Let's first... Not her. Throw him here, reduce the salary, and uh, he can be very helpful here. He is a burned officer, so we get more income. Oh, we don't have something that can help him here. But these items are great. Uh, he doesn't have any of the skills, and that's okay. We're just going to use this for now. Alright, we need to get a little bit of food here, and then once we demolish this, we're going to build the land development to get a bit more food there, too. Alright, that's fine. Do I want to... I mean, even if I want to downgrade, it'll be next turn. And the question is, it's not worth to build this. Just realize that. Because if you think about it, we do have a little bit of commerce on the harbor. Max out like 200, 225 maybe if we get um, spice, which is probably not going to happen. An inn, 400. Okay, actually, actually, it's not that bad. If we get an inn in here, it'll be later on. Banditry. We get a retinue here to help defend. But do I really need defense? These are all good questions, actually. I kind of want one of these. You know what? I think we got to demolish this. We got to make room for an inn to get the most out of this building. All right, that's decided. Alright, we can also do assignments if we have characters that are available, right? They're all in the field. Do we have any new ones? She is a bandit, although not someone who I would recruit. Okay, we're gonna pass on everyone. 
And uh, I think we'll just end turn here. No one to really recall or to delete. Yeah, we're good to go. Let's continue. Yuan Shao declares war. That makes things a lot easier for us. Moron wants a trade route. Right, we haven't had a trade route since um, we lost the one with Liu Chong. So this would be nice. Uh, the reason why I didn't get one is because no one likes us and it's very expensive. And the question is, can we get paid to fight Yuan Shao? Yes, we can. And uh, since there's no equal value right now in the marketplace, we're going to just ask for cash per turn. 20 turn cash. Also not a lot because no one's really scared of us and everyone's poor. Play 40. Oh no, it's 39 with some change. That's not great. Um, hold on. If we can do like 23. No, that still doesn't make sense. It has to be like 10 points to make sense. I won't trade any of those. Hmm. Liu Bei is not in any wars. This is just awkward. What if I push it to 41? When is it point two? That's the question. Yeah, this doesn't make any sense. 20 turn, we're just getting 20 more. So I guess we'll just take 39, lose a point. We can't do anything about this. Ryobei likes this, Koron likes this, Yuantan doesn't like this. All good. Liu Bu is finally destroyed. He's going to join Liu Bei, and Liu Bei is going to get wrecked from the inside. Yuan shall declare war on us, which provides us a good opportunity to get a mercenary contract to get paid. This display is an error. We're getting paid on both. So it's just showing us one. It's fine. Okay, another bandit character. Quite high level, this one. But I don't think we need her. Okay, I got an item, which is nice. I would need to rush some buildings here. And we would most definitely want to get the food situation resolved first. We have the reserves to tank it out for at least a turn, and then we can rush it next turn for a little cheaper. But I need more than this. This is only one more food. I need this... Like this is three. I need mm, I need so much food. It feels like I have to downgrade this first, just to keep it sustainable at this point first before we do anything crazy. That way we lose four food and we'll be a positive one. We don't have to rush this one at all, and then we'll upgrade it back up when we can't afford it. Just necessities at this point. I don't think we need to go attack them across. Uh, the Yellow River. He will definitely come towards us. There is a chance that Cao Cao would also declare war on us, but I don't know how we can stop this. We might be just forced in a defensive position here for a while. But anyways, we have a home now. That's pretty much what's important. Uh, let's continue. Pass. All right, new turn. This is a Han general. Left Gong Sun Zan's faction. Another Han general who left Gong Sun Zan's faction. We haven't been checking turn codes, uh, but there has not been any. All right, we have positive food now, which is great. 
Toto hasn't declared war on us, which is also great. Banditry income. I'm not converting. How much for this? 17. That's reasonable. Like within reach. Like this isn't that great. That's pretty much a glorified stone pig that can complete a set. I think it's one of the four men sets. I could check real quick before I trade it away. Yeah, it's for the government buildings. Not important. The heirloom spear, if it comes down to it, we can probably trade it away too. We don't need it right now with our characters. 11 points. Ah. Oh. We would also have to promise him... Okay, one food. I think this is worth. Alright, we finished our mission. Get our next mission. Upgrade a building to get your economy grows. Oh, this is going to be bad because of this timing. We would trigger it next turn and then we would not have the money necessary to do a lot of the things that we would want to do. Can we tank this? Yes, we can. Okay, then we will tank it. And then we'll do the conversion. Yeah. Alright, we're just going to depend on Yuan Shao coming to attack us to boost our fame and fortune. It's bugged out right now. It's still displaying the old one. I wonder what happens after the six turns, but right now it's okay. I'm okay with it being bugged out. Also has the Emperor in Xu Chang. Very fitting. Okay, Yuan Shao has a piece here. He's gonna take in Liu Bu soon, and they're gonna splinter, and that's gonna be our chance. We can probably grab some new characters when Liu Bu's um, characters join the pool. We'll see. Let's continue. Yuan Shu. Nope. Okay, Yuan Shao is just busy. Oh, Wu Jing died. Sima Long takes over. What a weird succession plan. Rank up. We're almost there. I think once we convert this, we can rank up. But conversion is really bad because the problem here is when we convert, we don't get the discount from your economy grows. So it's not taking full advantage of what we could be getting out of it. Like we probably want this as soon as possible. It's three turns. We'll rush one of those turns. And then we also want to rush one of these turns. Oh, a burn officer. Outsider is a Hun general. Yep. So we would take him in and then find him a wife, which will cost us 4,000. 5,000 total just to include him. Doesn't feel worth at this point. And I'm not sure if he's a spy or not, because he's not willing to spy. He was from Tall Tall's faction who has extra spy spots. Does he has does he have any grudge? Oh, he's highly likely to be a spy, so we're gonna pass on that grounds. 
Um, this is probably the most important right now. We gotta get a healthy economy going. Yeah, we'll do the conversion stuff afterward. And we'll save the rank up afterward. What do we get from the rank up? Extra underlings. Extra trade. Yeah, one of these, the enforcer is a very good position. It takes away all desire for higher office, but these two aren't that important. So I guess we don't have to rush anything. Yeah, let's just build up for now. Let's continue. Li Jue, nope. Oh, we ranked up. From what? What do we build? Oh, army, loot. Loot gives prestige. Okay, alright. That's fine. It's not like this is a bad thing. Rank up again. So there's no beginning uh, missions anymore. Liu Bei is going after uh, Yuan Han's army, which is somewhere down here. Yuan Shao also declared war. So we share our enemy. I don't see their army. Wait, he's wiped. When did he take him in? Well, I didn't even... Maybe he took him in, I didn't see it. But this was what we were kind of waiting for. But... Looking at the situation, Liu Bu is going to get wiped because Liu Bei has huge stacks and he starts with nothing here. So that's not going to go in his favor. Hmm. We get extra assignments, but we don't have characters. Uh, but anyways, we'll end our episode here. I think next episode we'll probably declare war on Yuan Tan as well, just to side with Liu Bei and Kong Rong and start launching our attack north. Uh, we do want to expand. Uh, salt mine's not bad for bandits. Uh, there's no harbor here, so it's not great. Uh, but we'll we'll find something to do with that. Uh, anything right now is an increase to our income because there's no corruption, and we'll continue to pick up a few reforms and uh, move on from there as we have to navigate uh, around the Central Plains, which is still quite messy. We will go south eventually to help our dear husband, um, as he, you know, probably want to restore the Han. Um, we're not getting pregnant, so we're not getting too attached to him yet. We'll see if that change in the future. Until then, bye!